It was good to uh, hear from Simon Calder. Now, a troop of circus performers who've been stranded in Morecambe during the lockdown has been helped out by locals with food and supplies. The Big Kid Circus had just set up its big top when the restrictions were imposed. They never even got to perform, as Dave Guest explains. It's the ultimate lockdown workout, but please don't try this at home. These are professional circus folk, and this is their home. They landed in Morecambe days before the lockdown and had to abandon their show before it had even begun. When the lockdown happened, we literally couldn't move forward or back, so we had to stay here. The Cuban performers were given the option of, of flying back home, but chose not to. Yes, so um, they chose to stay because they didn't. They knew that if they went back home, they were definitely not going to be performing for the for the rest of the year. That was a hundred percent because there's there's no circuses in Cuba. There's no opportunities there to perform and. Um, because they really do love to perform. They said, can we stay here and see what we can do? Well, with a view like this outside of your big top, there are worse places, I suppose, that you could spend the lockdown. However, because the performers are not UK nationals, they're not eligible to any state support. So that's where local people have come to the rescue. When we heard that there, there was a circus troupe who needed help, we were just so glad to be able to... Um give them a hand really this is an awful situation for all sorts of people but especially for touring musicians and for touring performers and it just makes us feel so glad that, that we can step in and do something helpful we just can't thank them enough they've just been absolutely fantastic i always look forward to coming to morecambe because i because i love the town and and we only expected to be here a week and we've been here definitely a lot longer than that now had not only the food banks you know the organization actually help us but um, we've had just local people coming in and dropping off clothes now obviously we're keeping the two meters distance between us your performers don't do that so how do you get around social distancing well we're classed as one household there's 35 of us and um, we spoke to the government and kind of the, how they would class us and because we live together um, we're classed as one unit <laughs> in practice with online performances and they plan to stage a real life free show for the community in Morecambe as soon as they're able. Dave Guest, BBC Northwest Tonight, Morecambe. Now a charity which was launched following the Manchester Arena bombing.